Hello parents, guardians, students and staff. We start to reflect on the end of Term 3, far from what we would have liked throughout the term. The last six weeks has been extremely difficult times and as this continues to prolong, the greater challenges that come for all of us is quite evident. But I do say thank you for all your ongoing support uh, to your children, uh, to our students and to the staff at the college. Uh, some to, I need to share some specifics around the holiday period um, and what we hope and pray for, what we lead into next term. So the gravity of this term certainly has weighed more heavily on us as the term has progressed. There are many students uh, on site on a daily basis that are supported by many staff and we are very grateful for the staff that are applying themselves above and beyond uh, their normal duties to care for uh, and educate as best as possible the students uh, in our care. We hope and pray that the roadmap on, the on this Sunday from the Premier gives some, uh, some clarity and some real direction of the, the possibility of a return to school next term. We know that on the uh, Tuesday, the 5th of October is the GAT, so we, the question will come, what does the Monday look like? Will students return? or will they hold off potentially for the GAT to run? But I would suspect that we will get a lot more detail, hopefully in the roadmap on Sunday, but if not, later into the holiday period. Can I say a big thank you to parents and guardians for your constant support for your children in the educational learning programs that are remote. We know the challenges and difficulties that come with this, but your consistent message, your support, knowing the needs of your child, when to push and when to give a break, is absolutely what is important during these periods of time. Students have done a tremendous job. They have pushed themselves, they have applied themselves, they have challenged themselves, and they have achieved the best that they can. Please do not judge them against other students. Accept the pros and cons of the ups and downs on a daily basis. We understand that we are going through that as adults and we are trying to process the challenges of loss and what it feels like of what's happening to us. To the graduating class of 2021, our year 12 students, I hope today you received your care pack and a sense of gratitude uh, and respect from all the staff across the college to say good luck with your preparations and studies over the holiday period leading into your exams, exams uh, early next term. We know it's certainly not the preparation you would have liked, uh, but I hope the skills that you have learned around self-management, time management and understanding the needs of of you set you up well for the future. We have been identified as a pop-up vaccination clinic. So many of you may have seen this uh, from the Premier uh, on Sunday and I have received confirmation throughout, uh, of this throughout the week. I can confirm that uh, the vaccination centre will run next Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, September the 21st, 22nd and 23rd from 11 a.m. till 5.30 p.m. in our senior school building. S uh, people that are interested in, in attending uh, this pop-up clinic, please enter via the senior school basketball courts, okay, gate A in the college on Eminence Boulevard. I've been informed that the primary vaccination will be Pfizer, but there will be medical staff on hand to have those, those levels of discussions with each individual um, of, the Astra, uh, sorry, of the Pfizer and AstraZeneca um, vaccination, which will all be uh, on site to administer. Can I reinforce that this is a child and parents' decision around vaccination? We are an educational facility, this is not our decision and this is not something we are, will get involved in around your children being vaccinated or yourself. Can I reinforce that this um, pop-up vaccination hub is for our school community and the broader community of, of um, uh, Lorimer and Doreen. So uh, friends and families, please you can inform them of this uh, and they can attend the pop-up clinic um, next week, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. But please I reinforce that staff will not be uh, alluding to any uh, choices that families make. These are certainly decisions made by the Premier and his medical support team that you hear and I hear at the same time through the television. Um, 
We know that the safety though for all our students and staff in our community is the most important priority. Can I wish everyone a safe break? Spend time off your technology if that's possible. Spend time together. I hope everyone's starting to pull out those uh, picnic baskets. I, I read today that um, small gatherings can happen in, in parks. Uh, in our local community, which we have many of that are beautiful. So I hope to see many of you maybe through the parks, uh, enjoying um, some company of others, which has been restricted for a while. Um, I guess the thing I would leave with is go the red, white and blue, go the mighty dogs. Uh, it's great to see two Melbourne based teams in the grand final. Pity it's not in Melbourne, but I certainly will be enjoying watching it through the television. Thank you always for all your consistent support and guidance uh, around what is best for our students and our community. Thank you.